Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a really quick, cute, uh, simple Dollar Tree DIY that I just did um, for my coworkers, a couple of my coworkers. And so these pot holders I found at Dollar Tree. Um, they have the silicone on the back. And um, my girlfriend showed me this. She had a bunch of red ones. I couldn't find any red ones. And um, there was an image that she was using about baking, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I said, you know what, I'm going to customize each one uh, with a little Christmas uh, a decoration on there. So um, all the HTV that I used and all these pot holders are actually from Cricut. So this is the first one. It's the Little Gingerbread Man. And um, I actually used my... Easy Press, my Cricut Easy Press for these. Um, the glitter actually took really, really well to the pot holders, and so did the the red HTV. These were super simple to do. However, I did have a challenge with the Easy Press and this uh, holographic vinyl. I had to go upstairs and use my big press in order to get him really placed on there. And then I took this little guy upstairs, too, because his nose, for some reason, was not sticking in there as well. So here's our little gingerbread man. Um, it does say bite me because the coworker that I'm actually <laughs> giving this to, she says that all the time. So I thought this would be perfect for her. So what goes with this entire little pot holder as the gift is... These little packets of Betty Crocker um, chocolate chip or fudge. Now, I went to CVS the other day and I saw these exact same Betty Crocker um, packages of cookies and fudge. And they were $3.59 at CVS. Don't buy them there. That's too much money. Get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So, this will be part of their little gift. And then, of course, I bought the Betty Crocker spatulas. So that's going to go inside of the little pot holder as well. And then I have this little guy. <laughs> so this little snowman I learned how to make from Faith Chick 777 She does have a tutorial on there. And she does a lot of bazaars, Christmas bazaars and stuff like that. So I thought it was so cute. And so I made it for this packaging. These picks I actually found at Joanne Fabrics. They were 70% off. So it's on a little wire stick. So then I decided to wrap this little snowman and a candy cane in here. So this will go in here as well. And then I also found... Oh, my little snowman there is crooked. And then I also found these bells at Dollar Tree as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to make them all a custom um, ornament with glitter and HTV. So I'm going to probably wrap these with um, some cellophane and then I'm going to tie them up with a ribbon and one of these bells along with their ornaments as well, their custom ornaments. So that's the little gingerbread guy. And then here's Frosty the Snowman. Isn't he so adorable? And this gray is really pretty as well. So I didn't, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have any problem doing the glitter with my uh, Cricut Easy Press. However, this one was a little difficult um, in sticking. And there is silicone on the back of these pot holders, but they're also raised. So this lip right here was preventing me from getting this um, down like it should have stuck. So I had to use my big press upstairs for that, but. Initially, when I looked at this snowman, I said, you know, I really want to use this Frosty the Snowman. However, as, as you can see, there's some little lines in there. If I would have left him as an outline, I would have taken his entire body out. And I wanted to see his body with this holographic vinyl. So I took the, I took the outline out. And because... Um, it was running into situations such as his little pipe here. I had to cut it there because if I would have continued to take off that outline, it would have taken his pipe away 
along with his head. So there is a slight little line there. I could probably add a, a really thin ribbon or rhinestones, but I think it's fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then around his leg too. So if you find this image online, I found it in Google. Um, once you cut this, there's HCV that sticks all the way out here. So I just went in with my fussy cutter scissors and cut that out and kind of rounded that up there so it would look um, nice and clean. So this is the little snowman, Frosty the Snowman with the holographic Cricut vinyl or the HTV. So that came out really cute. And then this little guy, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> I found this image as well in Google and um, the Merry Christmas I added myself um, the M and the Y are both capitals that was intentional they are lined up I did line them up up here um, because I wanted to fill this little space where he was peeking out so that's why I did that and then I used a different font for that and then I used the uh, foil red HTV which is also Cricut so he came out super cute and then we also have Santa Claus I found this image as well on Google I did have to put it imported into sure cuts a lot first only because sometimes you know if you're using design space and you import an image from um, anywhere online you get that little mess around the edges that you can't possibly clean up because it's just too much and, and too difficult without having to erase part of your image. So I put it in the Sure Cuts A Lot program and did a trace and it completely cleaned all that noise around the edges. So this cut out perfectly. So now he's perfect for an outline. However, with this holographic image and Frosty the Snowman, he's too cute to have just as an outline. So I had to keep his entire little body. So yeah, that's my, my DIY with Dollar Tree products and my Cricut um, Easy Press and my Cricut HTV. So I hope you like it. And this is a really quick idea. If you're trying to, if you want to try to make these for Christmas, I know you got less than a week. You might have a difficult time trying to find the pot holders. <laughs> I have gone to so many Dollar Trees looking for the pot holders. Red is completely out, so I wouldn't even bother trying to look.